Today we're doing Fat Nick's background tutorial on his little animations he had in his background and the music video What the Fuck. Um, there's a lot of like animations flying around and in the background and yeah, you guys seen the video, you guys see how the preview. Okay, so in the description down below I have three already pre-made animations um, that you can buy just because it took me a little bit of time to make it. Um, you can buy it for like, let's say a dollar. You can buy it for a dollar and there's three pre-made ones and just do that it's a pretty much simple but I'll show you how to make your own so what you want to do is you want to go to Google and you want to type in like something cartoon dot PNG and then once you have that you just want to bring it into Vegas so I have this gif right here that's a PNG now it has to be a PNG because PNGs don't have a background towards it so if I put the solid color underneath it it won't have a background and you know it'll look nice um, it'll just make it easier but yeah and to do all that so let's say if you want to make it the way you're gonna to have to do this is make sure your clip is unchecked maintain aspect ratio fix the aspect ratio okay, let me click on this fix the aspect ratio so it looks normal and then zoom it out and then to about right there and you're gonna to have to just manually duplicate the layer and then just make kind of like a grid of these and it's just a word of thumb I have like I do like five in a row and three rows and so yeah I already have a pre-made me making this one before so I'm just gonna have that fast forward and then you guys can see what I'm doing and then we'll get into the tutorial Okay, so once you've created your own popsicle thing or and you have whatever you want and you have it all looked, uh, here's mine that you guys saw me do real fast. Well, if you did it in Vegas, there's gonna be a black background. So if I do this, and that's only because you can't really, I haven't figured out a way to render out in alpha channel only yet without it with a transparent background. So a way to fix this is you can either chroma key out this black but I know there's some black on the clip itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it over this clip, over my clip right here, and then change the track layer to add, and it should look, you know, decently. You So the thing is with this one, there's like, it looks kind of, you know, it like ghosty, um, which I really don't like. That looks pretty sick. Uh, what you can do though, is if you don't like that, um, you can just do the chroma key way, which is I'm going to do because I didn't try this out before. But okay, let me do this source alpha and chroma key. And if you did happen to purchase the ones I had in the description, uh, there's only three of them and they're green screens. So it's pretty much the same way you do it. You just get the chroma key and then you key out the green. But this one, we're going to key out the black since we rendered it that way. So chroma key here, default. We want to pick just black bring that down or maybe this okay bring the low threshold down and then now we have this okay so now you want to know how to get it in the sky and how to make it animated well it depends all on your clip and since we have 
uh, it depends all on your clip, first of all. Um, since we have a huge sky right here and these don't fit all of it, you're going to need to zoom it in. Now, you might be asking, why didn't you just do that when you made it? It's because, well, some clips you have, you know, some clips you don't have all, a lot of sky, you know, you have a little bit of sky. But anyways, I just zoomed in right there and that's pretty good. Um, I want to give it have an idea of your clip on how you want this to animate it, but first let's get it behind the sky. So it's pretty much like a sky replacement tutorial. Um, I'm just going to insert a new video track. So right now we have this popsicle clip on top of this clip, and then we're just going to need to get our clip and then copy it by holding control and dragging it on top of the other one, and then dragging it over this clip. Now that the popsicles are gone, gone we're going to pretty much do the same thing. We're going to chroma key this out. I'm going to put it, um, sorry. I'm going to get the chroma key, put the default on the top clip, get this pen tool, click that, and then you'll have it in the background. Um, there's more thing, more of them are popping up, so I'm just going to do this a little bit and have, have it look like this. And so right now, that's our background, and that's pretty much it. You can have it animated. Sometimes they had it moving upwards, sometimes they have it moving downwards. All, all you need to do that is just mess with the pan crop of your popsicle layer. So what you need to do with that is click this pan crop button. And then you can have, let's say, let's say I move this up right here, so it'll be at the edge of this. I'm going to have, I'm going to go to the end of it and then move this down. And since there's since we have more popsicles than we do have sky we can go pretty much all the way down and still get a really good effect maybe about right here so if we look at our effect now they're moving down and they're behind the sky pretty simple effect and pretty cool effect if you want more tutorials hit the comment section down below comment what you want to see next and or just if you want to talk to me i usually answer a lot of people and like and subscribe and peace out later